February in the rearview mirror, let's take a look at what's going on in the first two months of the year. Surprisingly, while it remains a struggle to find a buyer a home, inventory across Wayne, Macomb, St. Clair, and Oakland counties is up 7.7% over the same time last year. And while interest rates are bouncing as international issues are impacting long-term rates, they are still within a narrow range below 4%. We do note the number of transactions written is down by a, from a year ago by about 2.5%, but it remains to be seen if that is because of inventory, interest rates, seasonality, or the weather. Stay tuned. Before I forget, registration for Michigan Realtors Broker Summit is open. The program is at the Inn at St. John's in Plymouth Township, April 27th. My take on the theme this year is broker risk reduction, learning what you don't know. GPBR leadership will be there, and so should all brokers, team leaders, or team managers. Perhaps also of interest for anyone who does business in Macomb County is the Macomb Economic Forum sponsored by the Sterling Heights Regional Chamber of Commerce and Industry on March 25th. Registration info is accompanying this message. Speaking of Sterling Heights, the interesting background you see behind me comes from a presentation at our Macomb Chapter's annual meeting. This is a rendering of a concept bouncing around the Sterling Heights Planning Department and is separate and distinctly different from what is being conceptualized at Lakeside Mall. Our thanks to Mark Vanderpool for spending time with us and sharing the information. With spring just around the corner, let's talk about some upcoming events. March 13th is the first day of daylight savings time. Remember, spring forward, that is move the clocks one hour ahead. First day of spring is exactly one week later on the 20th. In between is St. Patrick's Day, which you can celebrate at our morning coffee pop-up on the 17th at Sweetwaters on Garfield and Clinton Township. March 11th is our monthly Friday roundtable luncheon at the board office. Our next education class is on March 23rd and is all about MISTA financing. April 6th is a class ideal for anyone working with investors or investment property because it's on 1031 tax-free exchanges. Information on the classes and events are available on the board website. I want to note that April 7th is a very special date on the GPBR calendar. This is the day of our first spring happy hour at Sandbar in Harrison Township, and it also commemorates the eighth anniversary of GPBR hiring Allison LaPointe, making her our employee with the most seniority. Help us celebrate by attending. Classes on how to use electronic lockboxes are offered on April 13th with the NAR at home with diversity class April 20th and a week later broker summit, which I mentioned earlier. Information on all these events and much more is available at gpbr.com. Finally, for those of you with busy schedules, please remember to go to your member portal for meeting information or the GPBR website for events. With that, have a great week be productive, successful, and profitable, and as always, be safe. Bye.